Good morning, folks. This is me, Jay Helio Viewer, our big northern sunspot grouping and 55 different ways to see the sun in 16 seconds. We've been waiting for a double CME impact since the 20th became June 21st. We expect those shock waves any time now. And while minor geomagnetic storms may ensue, they're nearly assured in the coming days as the Delta class magnetics of Sunspot Group 2371 blasted another X ray solar flare in just the last few hours. This was the strongest flare yet from this group when you consider the magnitude, duration, and geoeffective position, and the CME is big. It strongly affected the surface below as well, and it appears that plasma has erupted in broad fashion from the flare zone. Indeed, there is a full halo CME visible on Soho, Lasco, indicating that indeed, this blast is aimed right at Earth. As the flare energy created a radio blackout here at our planet, you can also see some polar effects coming as the flare energy dissipates. That's the high energy proton bombardment. It had been falling since our radiation storm, but jumped back up after the flare. We'll have to watch that today. And just before I hit the process button on this video, I checked the flaring one more time. Jeez, at it again. This one actually came from the departing southern active region. Another thing we'll have to keep watching today. And we could see more today. Whether the departing southern spot fires again is irrelevant, especially with the big dog up north, delta class, and earth facing. This is the primary solar watch right now. As you can see here in the solar wind, we are very calm, so any CME impacts will be easily spotted in the data. Coronal holes at much lower power than some previous ones, so this uptick is moderate only. Had a 5.9 in Fiji that really could have been listed in magnitude 6 range based on the full results. Greece breaking into 5 range as well, it's above average there. Top story on RSOE is the radioactive tritium contamination above safe limits near the Exelon owned station 80 miles from Baltimore just across the state line in Pennsylvania. Officials claim there is no danger to the public. The Uyen factor ramp continues with these solar flares, and now we see those three lows once more, one already crested onto India, and the one to the east is considered a strong typhoon candidate as it charges due north there. In the United States, that southeast high keeping things hot is driving the storm energy up through the central states to be split and shared along a bowl-shaped convergence line. Visualized here by weather.com. These can shift by the hour, so check local forecasts around lunchtime. We've got earth spots up north in Europe driving the conversions down to the southeast. I can honestly say this is an unusually long forward convergence from such small cells, but hey, the clouds do not lie. We're seeing that one convergence finally having left New Zealand, while the western system is firmly crested and we can see how air collides from different directions here. This is our convergence and the main on land weather system here. Got a bit of randomness in the current conditions and shots of our star to close. I do not expect any damage from any of the CMEs we have coming our way right now, but the last CME should at least give us a solid magnetic storm, and we've certainly got to watch for bigger events. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. 